Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. So we're here in Memphis, but we're leaving today. We didn't go on any adventures here. We came here for work. This was a work week. We were here to fix the slide, to put lithium batteries in the RV, and we just about finalized our entire travel plans for the whole year up to Maine and back. We were here at the Easy Days RV park just south of Memphis. Pretty nice little park, but it served its purpose. We came here because concrete pads and we needed to do work. Today starts the first day of our trip towards Maine and we're heading just to Nashville, Tennessee today. I'm actually really excited about Nashville and the park we're staying at. But before we start traveling, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor and the sponsor of our curtain giveaway, Roy Powell Batteries. All right, guys, we recently partnered with Roy Powell Batteries and they have agreed to let us give one of these 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron batteries to one of you guys out there. That's right, we're gonna give one of these away to you guys. Now this battery is awesome and it's full of all kinds of features and performance, including 3,500 life cycles at 80% discharge. It weighs in at 27 pounds. Max charging current of 100 amps. Recommended charge voltage is 14.2 to 14.6. Maximum discharge is 100%, which you won't find that on a lead acid battery. It's 1,280 watt hours. It has a low temperature discharge level at negative four and it has a high temperature level at 140 degrees. It has a low temperature charging protection at 32 degrees so meaning at 32 degrees it will not charge itself because you can ruin a lithium battery if you try to charge it at lower than 32 degrees outside it also has a high temp charge protection at 131 degrees fahrenheit so it will not charge if it goes above 131 degrees output over voltage protection overcharge protection output over current protection short circuit protection and over discharge protection and it has an app you can download that'll talk to this battery and let you know the exact health and status of this battery at all times including all the protections and the amount of cycles it's been charged and recharged now if you want more information on how we installed this lithium iron battery and our new converter check the link in the description below of the video when we installed all this stuff now if you want a chance to win your very own lithium iron battery from Roy Powell head over to pavenewpass.com and get yourself some of our merch anything from our merchandise store gets you there to win your very own lithium iron battery from Roy Powell now the contest is gonna run through April 2nd so head over right now and get yourself some merch all right, thanks again to Roy Powell Batteries for sponsoring this episode and our current giveaway. Are we ready? Are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's see this excitement face. You know why you're excited? We get new states. We start our adventures today. And we're busting out of the Texas Central Time Zone. No, 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 no. One, oh. more, one more stay oh, in Central. <laughs> Next move, we go to Eastern. Oh, okay. So we got one more move. But okay. we are getting a new state today, and today starts the official start of the main journey. The 40 and 40. In case you forgot, we're turning 40. Well, one of us is already here. And that one. <laughs> you only have a few more months, so enjoy it. And then we're going to get our 40th state by the end of our trip. I'm so excited. I'm actually excited that we're done with this workplace because yeah. this was cool. We, we, we hate Charlie Virgos twice, <laughs> we but we did. didn't go on a single adventure. <laughs> That's okay. We needed a down week. We've had a lot of, a lot going on. So I think this was good for us, but I'm ready to check out Nashville. It has been on my bucket list for so long. And I hope we at least see one star. I don't care who it is. I just want to see one, one person. <laughs> I'm convinced that when I get there, I'm going to go grocery shopping and Carrie Underwood will be there in the produce with me. <laughs> hey, Miranda <laughs> really likes Walmart. Like she always teams up with them. So maybe we'll see Miranda Lambert or somebody just in a local Walmart hanging out. So if we do see them, are you going to be like the local who doesn't even acknowledge them? Or are you going to be the total groupie and be like, Hey, if Sign I see the, if I see them, this this camera's coming on. <laughs> I'm convinced everyone that sings country music literally is just standing out in Nashville waiting for me to get there. <laughs> everyone but George Strait, because we know he's down in Texas. Yeah, George. But everybody else is just hanging out, waiting for me to show up to greet me and says, Welcome to Nashville. Hey, so I'll tell you, last night when I couldn't sleep, I was Googling where do the stars hang out in Nashville. It gave me a list of like 15 bars, but each one is owned by that celebrity. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if they're really hanging out at the place that they work. Like that's their job. Like, or I guess they don't work they there, don't work but there. if they own it, they don't work there. That's their money, I would say. <laughs> so I don't, I wouldn't feel like I'd go hang out where my, where I was making my money. So it is time for us to get on the road. We'll see you there. Buddy, are you excited? Are you excited? Buddy has no voice today. Buddy. 
Oh, I'm real excited to go to Nashville. I really enjoy country music. <laughs> Buddy, are you excited? I don't know. You don't get excited about much these days. Say bye, Memphis. Bye, Memphis. <laughs> been good but we're going to somewhere beautiful <laughs> you're gonna go get to paint some mountains soon this looks cool already i told you this was gonna be a cool place yeah that's why i like places like this because i'm excited to be here because it's awesome <laughs> also a little hilly don't like that hill playground that's all they care about playground <laughs> there's playground oh hey there's barbecue I'm excited about that right there. <laughs> That's our spot right there. We're playing oh, the reflection okay. of the road. Right there. Oh wow, right on the water. Right on the water. You think you're going to do some fishing? Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that water. Wow. There's an island. Oh my goodness, there sure is. Look at all the boats, Ashlyn. So we're looping around this? No, we're looping around this and coming back out oh, that way. Oh, I was like, But you oh, can't turn around. You have to go to the oh, end to turn around and come I back out. I'm so confused. Because it's on a peninsula. Yeah. I love how this is the U-turn they... <laughs> Glad mean, nobody's in that site. That's awesome. Look at that site. Wow. That would be cool to have. Look at that. Now, now we go back up in front of people blindside. <laughs> you, you gonna park us? Please do good. Please do good. <laughs> oh yeah, there are people outside. There are bees. Both of them. They're both They're outside enjoying the day. Yeah, I don't take too long to uh, get unhooked. To get unhooked? Don't take too long. Okay, we'll try not to. So we made it here to Elm Hill RV Park, just outside of Nashville. And this is a pretty awesome place. There's our RV. And we're backed up to a lake. But we have some exciting news. I want all you guys to help me wish Phil a happy birthday. Since Phil's not here, I'm the next best thing. Did you know it's your birthday? Well, it's Phil's birthday, so it's gotta be your birthday too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Phil and Phil's chair. Happy birthday to you. Wish Phil a happy birthday today. Even though this is two weeks old, go ahead and wish him a happy birthday. He loves hearing from you guys. He loves whenever you guys talk to him and comment on him. Welcome to Nashville. And the first thing we're gonna do, since we're in Nashville, is go do Nashville things. We're going to downtown Nashville to check out all the music activities, maybe the Grand Ole Opry. We don't know, we're just going to explore. But yesterday, we had an issue with the pit boss. And I think it's finally done. So I was cooking yesterday and it started blowing white smoke like crazy. I got over here and it was over 700 degrees. It burnt the paint off the top. You can see there's a line right here. This is how hot this was and that's the color it used to be. It burnt everything off the inside of the door. It burnt everything in here. And now it has air codes every time I light it up and try to start it again. So it looks like instead of just fixing the igniter, there was probably something else going on because it has been acting up for the last two weeks. We're probably going to get another one today. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Before we leave, we're probably going to get a replacement pit boss because they have them here at Walmart. First stop today is probably something to eat and then music row. So welcome to Broadway Street. And this place is on a Monday popping. It is happening here. Man, I thought it was going to be empty. Also, we're not going to be able to talk that much because everything is a copyright <laughs> issue. Every building has live music or speakers playing country music. This whole place is a party on 3 p.m. on a Monday. Right, so they might get a montage of everything we see, <laughs> but we might have to overlay our own music on top of everything we film because literally there's music everywhere and everyone has like a rooftop bar that has music playing. It's so awesome.
welcome to downtown Nashville. That is actually where the Tennessee Titans play. Did you know that, Alicia? They play here? I did not. I did not either. <laughs> I, didn't, I knew it was in Tennessee. I didn't know it was in Nashville. I didn't either. <laughs> and that right there, you know, all you did, you knew? She knew. You knew they played who, there? Who, what sport do they play? What sport does Tennessee Titans play? Um, football. <laughs> uh-huh. So anyway, right there is Broadway, which is the main drag for everything in Nashville. It's not Music Row. Music Row is where our record labels are. That is where all the famous people, if you're somebody, if you're somebody here, you have a restaurant here. Or as our RV park neighbor said, if you're having a bachelorette party, that's your street. <laughs> the most woo girls ever in the history of woo girling are down that street right there. So down there we saw Jason Aldean, Kid Rock, Luke Bryan, Alan Jackson, Miranda Lambert, so many. Blake Shelton. Uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Big and Rich. We didn't see them. We saw their restaurants. Right. We actually ate at Jason Aldean's restaurant because Miranda Lambert. They didn't have a high chair for the baby. So we had to not get our Tex-Mex fix, but instead we went and had Nashville hot chicken sandwich and burgers. We donated to old Jason Aldean. Yep. It was good though. He had live music and the girl was awesome that was singing. Yeah, if you're wondering why we didn't talk much, everything on this road right here is a copyright infringement mm -hmm. because every bar has live music and or music playing when they're not live musicking. So we walked down there, we checked out the Country Music Hall of Fame. It was closed. We're, we're thinking about doing that again tomorrow. We checked out the Walk of Fame, Walk of Fame. all the stars, and then we wanted to go check out the Grand Ole Opry. But of course, all that stuff closed right now. So we're probably gonna call it a night tonight. And the next time we come here, either tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna be doing some some tours. Someone help me out on this walk of fame. We walked all the stars. Where's King George? Uh huh. I didn't see his star, and I want to know why. Why is King George not there? I'm, I told her because he probably has a whole half the building in the Country <laughs> Music Hall of Fame. That's his. So they decided not to give him a star outside that was insignificant <laughs> compared to the room he has in there. <laughs> Maybe. I will see. Well, good morning and welcome back. We're gonna start today off at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. You're so excited too? <laughs> Me too. You too? We're gonna My go. Baby too. We're gonna go find King George's room. I bet, I bet half the building is King George. <laughs> the Country Music Hall of Fame. And unfortunately we can't talk in there either because copyright things. Not only are they all famous, their music is playing the entire time you're in there. It's Tuesday, it's 1 p.m. and that place is packed. It never stops. It never stops around here. So let me ask you, I'm gonna turn it back around. What'd you think about the museum? Well, I think it's cool, but there was one section which was more cool. Like the old stuff was okay, but as soon as we started getting to the things that we grew up on. right. I started getting excited. So uh -huh. like when we got to the 80s and 90s country songs, I was like, okay, this is us. And then when the best exhibit was actually the current music that's being played right now. There was a one thing from George Strait in there. I know. But Chris Stapleton has a whole wall. Morgan yeah. Wallen, Cody Johnson have a whole section. What was your favorite part? I like the Martina McBride section because I grew up loving her and they had like some of her stuff from the childhood all the way up through when she was pregnant and all the costumes and everything. So that was one of my favorites. And then I think like you, once we started getting to the more current people, I really enjoyed that section. I will say they loved us some Taylor Swift in there. Yeah. They loved us some Chris Stapleton. They loved them some Morgan Wallen, some Luke Combs. Some Cody Johnson. Oh, we did find King George. I'm sure you'll put that in the video, but yeah. he was definitely the most Texan looking outfit <laughs> in there. It was starch jeans, starch long sleeve shirt, and a cowboy hat, just like he always has with his belt buckle. 
So that was awesome. There wasn't a whole room to them though. We no. expected like, there's, there's a door over there and you just be like, King George's place. <laughs> King George wing. And that's <laughs> what I was expecting. But no, he, he didn't have that. So now we're going to head over to the Grand Ole Opry because we're in Nashville and you have to see it. But unfortunately, there's no tours today. So we're going to hang on the outside and take some pictures. And also there is the hotel you want to see, the Opry Hotel. We're going to the Gaylord. We're going to go see it. It used to be the Opryland Hotel, but it's been renamed. And fun fact, I almost went to work there out of college, but decided I wanted to stay in Texas just a little bit longer. So I didn't come visit Tennessee. I'm starting to think that might have been a bad idea. Tennessee is pretty awesome. I Nashville's know. pretty awesome. I know, but then what? We may not have ever gotten married and <laughs> had these three kids and crazy life. So y'all might not have seen paving new paths if I'd have came here to work. Did you think that the uh, museum was a little boring? <laughs> I don't know if it's boring. <laughs> a little repetitive. It's the same thing we go to every museum. It, I could have been at the Wild West Museum in South Dakota. Yes. It's a bunch of costumes. How would you make a museum more fun i mean they try with the interactive um displays and things but i feel like it's just costume after costume after costume after wait wait wait, wait, wait. insert award and guitar and go yes, back to costume uh, awards guitars which i do love seeing the guitars i wish there was more of that um versus the costumes i really don't care what they wear i don't know why but so have you been to any cool museums that are honoring people that aren't just costumes let us know. So we're at the Opryland uh, or the Gaylord Hotel now and we've driven around the entire thing and you're not getting in. Self parking is $35. This is a complex. <laughs> this is a city in itself. <laughs> yeah, I just looked it up. I told him, I think it's like 800 rooms. No, I was wrong. It's 2,888 rooms. It has its own water park. It has multiple different entrances if you're going to uh, check in, depending on which uh, rooms you're going to stay in, which wing you're gonna be in you can check in at different places um, it's huge I mean oh, oh I think we're coming up to the entrance yeah. might, this is, might be the closest thing y'all see to the entrance yeah it's super cool though uh, we're still parking and coming in you think so yes we Where are. are we gonna park at we're gonna park at the mall and then come over if Phil had to check in this place <laughs> he would never find your mom <laughs> If you told somebody, hey, just come pick me up from the hotel, I don't think they're going to find you either. Because <laughs> this place is massive. You going to go valet I, it? It might I, be cheaper to I would hate it. to know the valet rate if the self-parking rate is $35. I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> how do we get here? <laughs> now we're going around it again. <laughs> uh, see, over there, there's the water park. We'll probably get you closer to it in just a minute. See, there's the water park. There's no way out. There's no way out. Once you're in, you're in. <laughs> they capture you. They Everything want... says exit this way. And when we get there, it says making their loop. Just, the exit's this way. Just keep on looping. We finally made it to the entrance of the hotel. Are you ready to go in? Yes. Yes. So we are here. We walked a long way to get here because we weren't sure if Kevin could come drop us off. So let's go check it out. Conservatory Skywalk and you can go learn about all the different things. So it tells you about all the different plants. Look! Yes, that's the one that was on the picture right there. It's right there. There's yeah. a little fountain down there. 
super cool. Yeah. Oh, that's the yeah, guitar hanging over there. Let's go check it yeah. out. Oh, you see the music notes hanging from the ceiling. So cool. I love that there's little street signs everywhere. It looks like we're on a street. Look at the blue guitar. Who would like that blue guitar? Uh, me, because I have the... You! I think sister would like it. Super neat. Another waterfall down there. I give this 100 stars. 100 stars? Oh, goodness. There's an arcade. They want to take all your money. <laughs> oh my I really goodness. Want that pink one. Ah, they're squishies. I want that Look pink one. Look how fun. This is so cool. All right, let's get out of here and go tell daddy what he missed. He should have came, shouldn't he? Too bad we had sleeping babies in the car. So Kevin decided to stay back because Caden and Kayla both fell asleep. So Ashlyn and I just came to run in really quick. I'm so glad we did. This place is amazing. This place was amazing. Ashlyn talked a whole lot because she kept saying, this is the most amazing place ever. I want to live here. And I'm like, I'm sure that's affordable. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing though. There's tons of restaurants, coffee shops, gift shops. There's like a walkway you walk through with all the um, conservatories. There's an escalator. There's an escalator. There's an arcade. We walked through the arcade. Dollar twenty-five to two dollars per play. I said they're gonna take all your money fast, but it was worth it. I'm glad I went in and saw it. So you missed it. There was waterfalls. We had all kinds of fun stuff in there. I could have stayed for another hour and been perfectly happy. Hey, guess happy. what? Guess what? What? When I edit the video, I'll see it all. <laughs> you'll find. You'll get to see I what you missed. <laughs> That's as close as you're going to get to seeing the Grand Ole Opry. It's really weird to me that it's right here next to a wall. Oh, like it's right here and the mall is right here. It's so strange. Well, honestly, that was here first. Yes. Along with your hotel. Right. This came later. Right. But we're not going to go over there because not only are there no tours, it's closed. Like, so you can't even go in the building and see anything. Right. So what's the point of walking over there to look at a, the outside of a building? Yeah. If we're feeling adventuresome tomorrow, we may come over and take the tour. But tomorrow's our last day. But tomorrow is our last day and I'm pretty sure I might choose rest over <laughs> Especially after what we're about to do tour. right now. Right. <laughs> you going to tell them? Guess what we're going to do. We are going to we're going, see no, no, Aunt Paula. We're going to that place that ruins your day. <laughs> Aunt Paula. <laughs> Aunt Paula. Uh, Paula Deans. Paula Deans Country Kitchen. Oh. So, so the next time you see us, you're gonna be like, oh, uh, worst decision ever. I'm so tired. I'm so full. <laughs> and then the kids are gonna say, let's go play on the playground. <laughs> How come they don't get tired of the? I know. They, well, they do, but they can rest it off so much quicker than us. So, Paula Deans, here we come. Paula Dean strikes again. I'm making one last stop for me to get something new. It's inside there. Hey guys, guess what I got? A new Pit Boss Tabletop Pellet Grill. To replace the one I had that doesn't work anymore. And this one, this one has Bluetooth. So now it'll tell me it's on fire from really far away. You are looking at a brand new Pit Boss next to an old Pit Boss. And there they go. So there's not much difference on the outside. These tabs right here are definitely better. These are better handles or locks than these were. But on the inside, they look the same except for the new one is not burned up. Also, it still has the plastic on it because we're moving tomorrow and I didn't want to take it out of the bag because it ships some oil and if you take it out it'll start to rust before you have a chance to do the burning procedure. This thing is uh, pretty awesome and new and I hate that that one had to die on us here but it's such a good product that I decided to replace with the same one. We got this thing put together and it's going to find its new home right there. It came with a new cover. This one unfortunately is going to go to barbecue heaven i'm gonna go donate it to the dumpster right now i tried it again today it's just error codes all over the place it doesn't even try to come on so whatever was going on with it when it decided to get that hot the other day it would go ahead and finish the job you've been good and you were so good that i'm gonna replace you 
with you again. So I just took the barbecue pit to dumpster heaven and I figured I'd give you a tour of this RV resort. And it's pretty nice. It's called Elm Hill RV Resort here in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's on a reservoir. I think it's called the Jay Piercy Reservoir. I'm not sure the name. Once you pull in, they have a gate and there is a code to enter to get in. There's also, I forgot to mention, right over there on the other side of the entrance is a boat ramp for the lake that you can access if you have a boat here. Here is the campground. So there's sites that way. There's sites that way in the exit. And there's the pavilion with the pool. And we have a playground. We have shuffleboard. We have all kinds of activities to do. And then you take a right and there's more camping this way. There's the playground. There's my kids. There's also my kids. They also have an on-site food truck that cooks barbecue around the clock. So it smells amazing. There's another momentum. Wonder who that is. So then you come up this way and this whole park is built on a peninsula. These right here are awesome sites, but they're not really made for big rigs, but you get to wake up and look at the lake. What do you think about that, Bob? I wanna be on the lake. Yeah, we did too, but we're not small enough to fit in those spots. There are some spots down here at the end, but they're all booked up, or they were when we checked in. But this is the view you wake up to. That's the lake side. This is the cove side where the marina is. This is the very tip, the most expensive, and there are some really nice big sites out here. And they have awesome patios. You can see them right there. They have a great view of the lake. Here's the cove side now. So that is the Elm Hill Marina, which is sort of part of this, but not really. You can actually go over there and eat, and it's awesome. And there is the cove. Also, more Class A's, more big, beautiful Class A's. And right up here, we are in a back end site on the cove side. This is our site. Our big momentum is backed in here on the cove side. So the picnic table, fire ring, and a giant concrete pad. You can see we have plenty of room, so much room, the truck actually parks next to the camper because it's not long enough for both. But it's still a beautiful pad, and that is our view every morning. So here's the pavilion. It's got a restroom and a change room. It's got a pool, it's got a kiddie pool, it's got the view of the lake. We have cornhole, shuffleboard, and there is Fat Cat Barbecue, the on-site barbecue food trailer. I tell you, it smells so good here all the time. That man, he knows what he's doing. He knows his target audience. He knows we'd rather come down here and eat than, than cook ourselves because it starts smelling good about seven in the morning and it smells good till 6 p.m. every night. Right across from the pavilion in the pool, is the playground and my kids have literally played here every single night next to is a restroom they have a bathhouse and shower and laundry is right here and we're walking down from the shower laundry bathhouse area down this path is to the dog park where me and buddy hang out and what's awesome about this is it's on this point right here on the lake this is the view out here on the point looking at the lakeside and man tennessee is pretty And the greatest thing about this RV park is we're just outside Nashville. It's like five miles. We can be in downtown Nashville in 10 to 15 minutes. So even though we're out here on a lake and away from the city, we can be downtown where all the action is very quickly. So this place was actually really awesome. I would recommend it to anyone passing through long term or short term. We actually only stayed five nights because we were using a credit from before when Alicia got hurt that we had to cancel. Had I known what I know about Nashville and how awesome Tennessee is, I would have added more days because this place right here, not just the part with the whole city of Nashville is awesome. I want to come back because five days is not enough. We didn't get to see any of the Grand Ole Opry, any country music shows. We really didn't get to enjoy a lot of it because we were here during the weekday. And most of those things that are big and awesome like that happen on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I would love to come back here and spend about two weeks here. I think you need two weeks to really enjoy Nashville. Nashville was awesome. This park is awesome. It's very affordable. I think we're gonna have to repeat this one. This one's gonna need a repeat because we need more time in Nashville to say we've been in Nashville. We love you guys. We hope you enjoyed hanging out in Nashville with us. We're gonna be back. We'll see you in the next one.